Last time we have started topic number 14 basic principles of organic chemistry in which we have completed introduction then after that we have seen structural representation of organic compounds in which we have seen molecular formula, structural formula then we have seen the condensed formula then Lewis dot or electronic dot formula of organic compound then we have seen three dimensional representation of organic compounds in which we have seen wedge formula then second we have seen Fischer projection formula then Newman projection formula and Sawhorse formula after that we have started classification of organic compounds there are various types of organic compounds and therefore they can be classified in various ways like the classification based on carbon skeleton or classification based on the functional group now first we are going to see classification based on carbon skeleton we have seen that according to the classification based on carbon skeleton organic compounds are classified into a cyclic or open chain or aliphatic compounds and second is ring compounds or closed chain compounds or cyclic compounds now we are going to see the classification based on carbon skeleton first we are going to see the classification based on carbon skeleton now here first we know that at, on the basis of carbon skeleton organic compounds are classified into acyclic compounds and cyclic compounds first we are going to see acyclic compounds acyclic compounds or open chain compounds are also known as aliphatic compounds now these are the compounds in which there is open chain of carbon atom for example now we know that these carbon atoms show catenation property in organic compounds that is they can form a long chain of carbon atom now on the basis of this carbon skeleton in case of acyclic or open chain compounds they may be straight chain or branch chain for example now here CH3, CH2, CH3 name of this compound is N-propane but three carbon atoms are in a straight chain therefore they are straight chain compound then second CH3, CH2, CH2, OH now here there are three carbon atoms which is attached to OH group that is hydroxy group therefore it is N-propyl alcohol here all three carbon atoms are in a straight chain therefore it is represented like this N, N stands for straight chain or normal chain then third we have seen third example is CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3 due to ENE all four carbon atoms are in straight chain that is carbon carbon double bond therefore it is example of alkene now fifth example this CH3, CH, CH3, CH3 now it is branch chain that is name of this compound is isobutane here three carbon atoms are in straight chain and one CH3 is in branch now this is another example CH3, CH2, C double bond, OH now here there are three carbon atoms but this functional group is of aldehyde therefore name of this compound is propion aldehyde now in open chain compounds all terminal carbon atom that is this one and this one or this one or this one or in case of these two all these terminal carbon atoms are open or they are not linked together each other they are not linked with each other in this case also and here also that is all terminal carbon atoms are free and therefore they are open chain or acyclic or aliphatic compounds second class of organic compound is cyclic compounds or closed chain compounds or ring compounds now what is meant by cyclic compounds now we have seen open chain compounds in which two terminal carbon atoms are free that is they are not attached to each other 
but when these two terminal and carbon atoms get attached to each other then they form a cyclic or ring structure like this if we take example of cyclohexane 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 if it is now there are six carbon atom in chain therefore it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 therefore it is hexane but when these two ends get attached to each other now here when these two carbon atoms get attached to each other then one hydrogen atom reduced from both carbon atom to form cyclohexane this is a cyclic ring is formed therefore these compounds are called as cyclic compounds this is the example of cyclohexane it is a cyclic compound which that is two terminals of a open chain of carbon get attached to each other to form a cyclic structure they are named as cyclic compounds now these cyclic compounds are further classified into homocyclic compounds and heterocyclic compounds Now first we are going to see what is meant by homocyclic compounds. Now the homocyclic compounds are those in which ring is formed by only carbon atoms. That is in ring formation only carbon atom takes part. Then they are named as homocyclic compounds. And in case of heterocyclic compounds in ring formation along with carbon atoms some hetero atoms like oxygen nitrogen sulfur can take part and therefore they are named as heterocyclic compound for example this is pyridine now here 1 2 3 4 5 these are carbon atoms but along with five carbon atoms nitrogen atom also take part in the ring formation therefore it is example of heterocyclic compound now here this is thiophene now here it is here there are four carbon atoms in a ring along with this sulfur that is this is five member ring in which four carbon atoms along with sulfur take part in the ring formation therefore it is the example of heterocyclic compound now first we are going to see what is meant by homocyclic compound homocyclic compounds are the compounds in which ring formation takes place with the help of only carbon atoms now these compounds are also named as carboxylic compound that is ring is formed by carbon atom therefore it is named as carboxylic compounds now these homocyclic compounds are further classified into alicyclic compounds and aromatic compounds now what is meant by alicyclic compounds the alicyclic compounds are those in which ring is formed by carbon carbon single bond for example this is cyclohexane or this is cyclohexane in which in ring formation there is only carbon carbon single bond is present look here carbon carbon single bond carbon carbon single single bond single bond single bond. that is in ring formation only carbon carbon single bond is there then they are named as alicyclic compounds for example cyclohexane now here also it is six member ring that is in ring formation six carbon atom take part but there is carbon carbon single bond is present then second example is cyclobutane now it is four member ring that is four carbon atoms are formed by that is ring is formed by four carbon atom it is cyclobutane now cyclopentane here also there is it is five member ring in which five carbon atom take part in ring formation and there is presence of carbon carbon single bond only they are named as alicyclic compounds now second is aromatic compounds so what is meant by aromatic compounds aromatic compounds are those in which there is alternate carbon carbon double and single bond in the ring for example benzene now here in this benzene it is c6h6 that is molecular formula of benzene is c6h6 and here at each corner there are carbon atoms there are six carbon atoms but this ring is formed by alternate carbon carbon single bond that is here carbon carbon double bond then it is carbon carbon single bond then here carbon carbon double bond then again carbon carbon single bond double bond single bond that is in aromatic compounds there is alternate carbon carbon single and double bond is present they are named as 
aromatic compounds. Now these aromatic compounds are further classified into two classes. Benzenoid aromatic and non-benzenoid aromatic. Now when in hexagonal ring there are there is presence of alternate double bond and single bond, then this character is named as aromatic character. Now benzene is the best example of aromatic compound which possesses six carbon atom and six hydrogen atom and the in ring formation there is alternate double bond and single bond in carbon atoms. Then this compounds which possesses or which is six member ring having alternate double bond single bond in the ring are called as benzenoid aromatic compounds. For example is benzene. Now this is naphthalene. In naphthalene look here there is also there are two benzene ring attached to each other. Uh, total there are 10 carbon atoms. In first member hexagonal ring there are six carbon atoms and in second there are four. Now here there is presence of alternate double bond and single bond in the ring structure. Therefore, they are benzenoid aromatic compounds. These are benzenoid aromatic compound, benzene and naphthalene. Now, non-benzenoid aromatic compounds. Non-benzenoid aromatic compounds means there is presence of alternate double bond, single bond. But along with this carbon atom, some another atom is also present. For example, this is phenol. Now, it is benzene ring which is directly attached to OH group. This is the example of benzene or aromatic compound. Second example is tropon. Now here this tropon also possesses alternate double bond single bond. Alternate double bond single bond means aromaticity. Now here, here there is presence of alternate double bond single bond. Look here double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond. But aromatic but benzene ring is not present. That is six membered benzene ring having alternate double bond single bond. Therefore, they are named as non benzenoid aromatic compounds. In this way, homocyclic compounds are classified as alicyclic compounds. Alicyclic compounds are further classified as aromatic compounds. Homocyclic compounds are classified as alicyclic compounds and aromatic compounds. Alicyclic compound possesses Carbon carbon single bond in the ring structure. Aromatic compound possesses alternate carbon carbon single and double bond in the ring structure. Aromatic compounds are further classified as benzenoid aromatics and non benzenoid aromatics. Benzenoid aromatic example is benzene or naphthalene and non benzenoid aromatic phenol or topon. Now here we are going to see what is meant by heterocyclic compounds. Heterocyclic compounds are those which possesses heterocyclic compounds are those in which ring formation is carried out carbon atom along with some hetero atom like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, etc. For example, this is pyridine. In ring formation, along with five carbon atom, there is one nitrogen atom. This is the example of heterocyclic compound. Now this is thiophene. In thiophene there are in ring formation five atoms take part. In which four carbon atom along with fifth sulfur hetero atom is take part in the ring formation. Therefore it is an example of heterocyclic compound. Now these heterocyclic compounds are further classified into two classes. Heterocyclic aromatic and heterocyclic non-aromatic. Now here this pyridine is the example of heterocyclic aromatic compound. In heterocyclic aromatic compound, there is presence of alternate double bond, single bond, double bond, double single bond, double bond in the ring structure. Therefore, it is heterocyclic aromatic compound. This is the second example of thiophene. Now here, this sulfur possesses a long pair of electron. Here also there is presence of alternate double bond and single bond. Double bond, single bond, double bond. Now here, there is carbon carbon single and double bond alternate in alternate manner but sulfur is attached to carbon atom by a single bond this is furan in which in ring formation oxygen atom also take part along with carbon atoms here also there is presence of aromaticity now if there is no alternate double bond then this oxygen atom possesses a lone pair of electron which is conjugated with this double bond therefore 
here electron pair single bond double bond single bond double bond therefore they are the example of heterocyclic aromatic compounds now we are going to see second heterocyclic non aromatic compounds now here example is tetrahydrofuran now here in tetrahydrofuran there are four carbon atoms which are attached to each other by a single bond and this is five membered ring which is formed by four carbon atom and one oxygen atom this is tetrahydrofuran then second example is piperidine in piperidine this is hexagonal ring in which six carbon atoms and one hetero nitrogen atom take part in the ring formation this is piperidine here there is absence of alternate double bond and single bond therefore they are non aromatic now here this is 4h pyram here this is six membered ring in six membered ring there are five carbon atoms and one hetero oxygen atom is present but there is absence of alternate double bond and single bond therefore they are heterocyclic non aromatic compounds in this way cyclic compounds are classified as homocyclic compounds and heterocyclic compounds homocyclic compounds are further classified as alicyclic compounds and aromatic compounds aromatic compounds are further classified as benzenoid aromatic compounds and non benzenoid aromatic compounds heterocyclic compounds are further classified as heterocyclic aromatic compounds and heterocyclic non aromatic compounds